But let's get to a little messy, shall we? <laughs> and, um, yeah. Okay, so we are going to find ourselves barraged with images, inundated with images of Kate and Will. Duchess Doolittle and Workshop Will. William has done his best to actually, I guess you can say he's actually reverting to kind or <clears throat> or maybe there's a self-fulfilling prophecy going on here. Or maybe it's exactly what it appears to, uh, appears to be. And that is William is trying to shake it up with that snazzy new <laughs> green blazer. A green velvet blazer. Did you get all that? So Prince William, who looks like a, I guess, a, 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 a Mitchum deodorant come to life. <laughs> Looking like Mitchum roll-on deodorant, antiperspirant. That William... <laughs> That's the treat for the eyes that he has for us. And speaking of eyes, I cannot tell you how many times there was a photo of William diverting his eyes away from his wife, who decided to show up in a recycled gown. She decided to wear it again. No problem with that. I think she looked rather drab, but yet lovely. You know, she looked okay for Kate. She's done something a little different to her hair. So if you haven't noticed it yet, I'm just going to tell you. Because you know what? We ain't going to never stop a hearing about it. We're going to hear about this hair for about the next month from the Daily Mail and company. Um, and of course, the makeup. This time they were careful not to compare it to the Duchess of Sussex, even though she is wearing the smoky liner and they had to pull, point to her blush and oh she's about as dull as dishwater but there are some people who are saying that William kind of looks like a I guess a, a Bond villain a 007 villain like he's gonna tell you about all of his plans for the destruction of the world now mind you he looks about as frightening as a glass of milk he's about as as scary as uh, I, I think a, a cup of cocoa. But let's say the turtleneck seemed to be an odd choice, but don't forget, they're trying to be more relatable. <laughs> I'm not saying it's working. I said they are trying to be more relatable. And speaking of more relatable, he decided that he would arrive for the earth shot not by a fleet of helicopters, not by a fleet of royal protection officers and, and I guess, a Range Rover. No, no, no. He's, 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 I guess, evolved beyond that. He decides to show up in whatever car this is. It turns out that this very relatable prince at his Amra Hall estate has installed an electric port so that he can... I guess charge his electric car. I wonder how many working class people are able to do the same. That's very relatable, isn't it? But there are some people who say that he's channeling Daniel Craig with his, I guess, hot pink or fuchsia suede dinner jacket. But whatever the case is, I guess that's a trend now. And the same as the... Duchess of Cambridge wearing the, I guess, nude illusion gown to seem more, you know, red carpet. He's decided to break out with a velvet jacket. It's one of the most frightful scenes that I have witnessed in a while. Like I said, it seemed like there was a life-size bottle of Mitchum roll-on antiperspirant deodorant coming at me. But whatever. The one photo, I couldn't believe this. Sometimes I think the Daily Mail really has a sense of humor 
or they are trolling her, or they are mocking her in some type of way, or mocking the both of them. And the reason why I say that is because why in the world, this is what I don't get, this is not helpful at all, why in the world would you have a photo with a caption that says, the couple gave each other a loving look on the green carpet as they headed into the inaugural awards. William is clearly looking down and away from her, and she is, I guess, clenching her teeth and trying not to laugh at the top of his head. In this particular photo, it's just like Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> meets the alien. I don't understand why would they choose this photo to say that the couple gave each other a, 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 I, I guess a loving glance. William is clearly not looking at her and she's kind of looks like she's not glad to see him. Why are you using this photo? There must be like a gazillion photos from that night and this is the one that they're using to define their relationship. What is the Daily Mail doing to them? And why? I can't believe it. I thought they were on their sides. And it gets worse. It gets worse. Um, Sir David Attenborough decided that he would be very respectful and, and bow. Now, I <laughs> I think it's, it's okay that he's very respectful, but... I think at a certain age, you might just want to kind of, you know, tuck your head down. Because I swear, it seems like he almost didn't come back up. I mean, no disrespect to David Attenborough. He's had a long esteemed career, blah, blah, blah. But make it easy on yourself. Because otherwise, they're going to go from wearing green to wearing black all in the same event. <laughs> and if that was something other than a very respectful bow... I don't want to know what you were looking at. <laughs> but brace yourselves because next year, the Earshot Earth, Earthworm or whatever that event was with the, you know, Cambridges, they're coming to the U.S. next year. Apparently, according to the CBS News this morning, they said that next year that this will, you know, of course, be an annual event. Next year, they're planning to bring this competition to the U.S. So you know what that means, right? That will be a year of speculation about whether or not the Cambridges are going to meet the Sussexes at all, whether or not the Sussexes will attend the event. And then what's even worse, this is what I, I would really hate is for the Sussexes to be nominated for anything, which I'm not sure that they actually would be eligible for any of the categories. But if for any reason that they are, considering Harry's um, devotion to the environment and environmental causes, if anything like that happens, then of course you have the press going on and on and on about whether or not the Sussexes will attend or whether they will appear, uh, appear that is, remotely. And let your imagination run wild with this one. So I'm just... <sighs> deep breaths, deep breaths. As far as the Sussexes are concerned, this is not any type of competition uh, for them. They got other things that they're focused on. They are essentially building their lives here in the U.S. And so I doubt if they're going to concern themselves with anything to do with this. But let us not forget that there is uh, two big events taking place in the next couple years for the Duke of Sussex. And of course, that is the Invictus Games. And then there's probably a lot of military stuff, maybe, maybe not, where the Duke of Sussex may be in demand for that. I hope that is the case because that would give him an opportunity to focus on some things that is near and dear to his heart among so many things that he is involved in. So 
I guess my point is the Cambridges are not going anywhere. And much to my dismay, they are actually likely to come to the United States. It'd be a great distraction because at least they won't have to deal with the Commonwealth. William will be looking away from Kate and Kate will be grinning and 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 grinning. But I'll add to that too. Anything and everything can happen in the next 12 months. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Let's just see what happens. That's it for now. Please like, subscribe, share, donate, etc. If you would like to make a donation and you don't know how to help support this channel, you can go to the comments section where you can find links to the Patreon, the PayPal, and the Cash App. Thanks for watching Royal Sussex.